I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a map of the United States in the 1800s. So I'm going to put this over here, 1800s, and I'm going to come way over here on the right side. I take one finger and I put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a little straight diagonal up, straight line down, curve line, curve line, up, curve line, curve line, up, and leave it floating. I come back up to the top and I'm going to draw curve line, curve line, curve line out, in, down, keep going curve line out, in, up, and connect. I come back over here to the right hand side and right about here I'm just going to draw a curve line up, over, up, down, curve line in, curve line in, curve line, curve line, curve line out, curve line down, curve line down, and leave that floating. Right where I stop, I draw a little curve line up, curve line up, out, up, over, and leave that floating. Come back up here to the top. We're going to draw a slightly wavy line all the way over and leave that floating. Right where I stopped, we're going to draw curve line out, down, curve line out, down, 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 curve line up, down, Curve line over, down, curve line up, curve line over, keep going, and connect. All right, we're doing this free form, so it's going to be a little bit different for everybody, but I don't want you to stop, just keep drawing. Right here, we're going to do a compass rose. So there's north, south, east, and west. You can put little triangles at the ends. Triangle, triangle. Alright, now we're going to fill this sections in, but it's not going to look like what you think, so follow along. I come back over here way on the left, and I'm going to draw a curve line up, little curve line down, down, curve line, curve line out, up, out, up, and connect. All right. I come back down over here and I'm going to draw curve line down, curve line down, out, down, connect. Right up here, I'm going to draw a little tiny curve line down, curve line down, curve line, up, connect right about here. We're going to draw a little curve line down, little curve line up, curve line down, keep going, keep going, keep going, and connect. Right about here, midpoint, we draw a curve line up, 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 connect, Come back down to about here. We're going to just draw a curve line down, curve line up, 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 connect. And right about here, we're going to draw another curve line down, up, around, connect. Okay. Come all the way down to this space. We're going to draw a curve line out, curve line down. And right here, we're going to draw a curve line up, over, and connect. And you look at this and you go, what? All right, let's fill it in. 
this whole section right here, this is the United States. Okay? This is the United States. Then, this is Florida, but it's still owned by Spain. So we're going to label it Spain. And this whole section, which is California and Texas, it also is still owned by Spain. So we're going to label that. Come up here. This is the Oregon Territory. So it's not a state yet. It's a territory. And this whole section is the Louisiana Purchase. Louisiana Purchase. This is Lewis and Clark and Sacagawea are going to figure it out. This, this section right here, this is the Illinois. Illinois Territory. Again, it's not states yet. These are territories. Okay. This space is Ohio. And when people said they were going west to the frontier, they would think it was Ohio. And this whole section is part of Michigan, Michigan Territory, and also the Indian Territories. Let's put IND. And then down here, and I think there's maybe even put a little section like that. This is the Mississippi, M-I-S-S, -S, Mississippi Territory. Okay? So there's a lot going on here that looks unrecognizable. Okay. I think that's all. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing you have to remember is, is that the indigenous people, the Native Americans, were living in all these areas. So when you see a territory or a, a foreign country in charge of a space, it's not as though they were free agents. This is all left over from colonizing the whole area. So this section, I'm doing yellow. And I'm doing this section yellow, and this part was still owned by England. So I'm going to put England. Okay. Now, the United States is this part, and I'm going to color it all red. And like I said, it's not as though these places were empty. There were many, many different tribes of Native Americans that were in the areas that were pushed out of their homelands to make for westward movement of the people of the United States. So I'm also going to color Ohio red because it was considered part of the furthest western part of the country. Then you get into these territories. So the Illinois Territory is pretty big, and it goes all the way up to the border part of Canada, around the Great Lakes, and Michigan Territory, same thing, and this is also encompassing the farthest part of the Indian Territories that they've pushed them out to. Down here, I'm going to do this blue also because this is the Mississippi Territory. Again, more Native Americans pushed out of their homelands into spaces that were considered far west. Now, I'm going to take purple and I'm going to color in Florida. And this is held by Spain. Now, Florida was let go earlier than this section which is Texas and California and New Mexico, all those states. This was also owned by Spain. Or I should say taken over by Spain. And these, these territories, they went to war over. Okay? Now, the Louisiana Purchase was bought from France. And this is what Lewis and Clark and Sacagawea came up and tried to figure out 
where the rivers went, where all of this land was, what animals lived there, what Native Americans were there. Okay, then this is the Oregon Territory. So there were people all over the place, but they hadn't formed the state yet. And this kind of gives you an idea of what the whole area kind of looked like. Now my compass rose, I'm just going to color my arrows red. Okay, these are the Great Lakes. I'm going to leave those white. So, basically, the United States was just this area. Everything else had to be bought or taken. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my map all colored in showing you the different territories, the United States in the 1800s, and the beginning of westward movement. Okay, bye-bye.